In the latest example of Netflix quickly pouncing on a true crime tale, the company said Friday it had ordered a docu-series on alleged cryptocurrency launderers Oya Dutch Liechtenstein and Heather Morgan, who only came to public attention with her arrest Tuesday. Since the success of Netflix's 2015 hit Making a Murderer, the platform and other streaming services have ramped up production of true crime documentaries, docu-series and fictional spin-offs of real-world stories. In 2016, 68 million people watched documentaries on Netflix, and 73% of their subscribers watched at least one. After being released at the onset of the pandemic, Tiger King became the most popular show on the streaming services in 2020. Netflix is one of the biggest buyers in the world of unscripted TV programming, Bloomberg reported in November. And as pop culture remains fixated on true crime and scammers, there is no sign the streamer plans to slow down. Liechtenstein and Morgan, a married couple living in New York City, were charged with conspiracy to commit money laundering and in conspiracy to defraud the United States for attempting to launder billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin that was stolen during a 2016 Bitfinex hack, though they haven't be. The couple worked their way into entrepreneur and tech circles, with Morgan writing as a contributor for Forbes. Come on business and entrepreneurship, until she was cut in September 2021. The government alleged the couple used fake identities and other sophisticated laundering techniques to launder the cryptocurrency. As news of their arrest and the seizure broke, Morgan's odd rap videos posted on YouTube under the stage name Rezelkin became an object of fascination. A lawyer for the couple said in a court filing Thursday that Liechtenstein and Morgan would not flee the U.S if allowed on bail because the couple has frozen embryos in an NYC hospital and wouldn't want to jeopardize access to their ability to have children. Feds seize $3.6 billion in stolen bitcoin.